The views and opinions of the hosts and guests are their own and do not necessarily reflect the position of the management and staff of Guardian Networks. Gentlemen, take your marks. Set. Great evening. It is uh, the 14th of June, and uh, this is Track Wheel with Alpheus Finlayson. We already have two people who have uh, are watching the show. Uh, the first one was Dwight King, not familiar with him, and the other one is. Uh, um, Poitier, Edric Poitier, thank you so much. Well, I will start to talk about some of the exciting things that have happened in the world of track and field. And I wonder if you can answer the question. Um, it was at Randall's Island, and there is a young man getting his name now, I have his name down. Um, and he did 9.1 at Randall's Island. And then a couple uh, months ago at the World Championships in Tokyo, Carl Lewis won, and the same person was second. And there is one other person of significance who use Randall Island, and you should know that person. And he set a hundred meters world record. Can you tell me who that person is? Who uh, was the last, well, the person who set a world record? And he started to do some other significant things. Well, as I indicated, um, there are a number of people watching uh, and listening to the show. And I really appreciate it that uh, um, you are watching. And uh, well, of course, there's more than uh, that number of people watching. Because right now, I think they should have about um, 350 something people around the world. And I say, you better listen to it, because some people say uh, that we only have that many people on the show. And people who watch, um, they tell me that, I'm talking about watching now, listening, that they watch and listen to the show. So it is really, really, really something else. Um, tell us now about, uh, oh, 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 there's something I'm talking about. Um, I listened to uh, the radio, I think, yesterday. Uh, and the Minister of Youth, Sports, and Culture, we're talking about it number of things. Uh, first of all, they were talking about we will get our own uh, world relays uh, back. Well, of course, that has to go through the, uh, uh, the president of the world athletics and to see what it is. And people are going to be coming down here checking this, checking that, and checking uh, the next thing. Well, Gordon uh, Major is listening and uh, Francis Clark, my good cousin who I saw on, uh, that was Friday uh, afternoon. Um, and I'm talking about uh, the uh, Minister of Youth, Sports, and Culture. They are having a ton of uh, Bahamians doing for two things. Number one, uh, to have people enjoy Eugene, Oregon for the World Championships. You need to know that this is the first time that a world championships was held in any place else in this area of the world. Uh, and that was um, 
Edmonton. Never had it in the United States. Uh, we were supposed to have a world championships in Mexico City, but then the peso went down, and then we had to have that same event in Spain. So uh, I am saying that some things are happening, and if you are not ready for the world championships now, I'm talking about accommodation, this and that, the next thing, you should do the best that you can do, the really best that you can do, because it's going to be exciting. I don't know if you uh, saw the race uh, uh, in Rome, uh, where uh, Shawnee was uh, fourth place, but it wasn't that bad. She is just getting ready. Uh, we have not heard very much uh, from Stephen Gardner. We don't have to worry about that because they are going to be ready uh, uh, when the gun sh 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 shoots. That's what I am uh, talking about. Um, well, uh, ladies and gentlemen, you can, as I said, ask the name of the person who, um, there were three people of significance um, uh, who participated at Randall's Island. And the first one, uh, um, he uh, still is a coach at the uh, University of Houston. Uh, and then uh, he broke the world uh, record at Randall's Island. And then they went from Randall's Island to Tokyo for the World Championships, where Carl Lewis beat that said person uh, who won the 100 in Randall's Island. Uh, Randall's Island is really something else, and it's been around for a long time. And I'm sure that they are just trying to update it. And the event over the weekend uh, was at, at Randall's Island. Uh, and uh, um, this is what it's about. Um, and it's going to be exciting. Uh, then, um, so my good friend, um, Poitier, um, can you figure out who uh, that person was? Uh, who set a world record at Randall's Island uh, long after uh, Carl Lewis and them set a uh, world record. Um, so one of the things also the Minister of Youth, Sports, and Culture uh, talked about was uh, d um, with regards to uh, what the various different federations uh, were getting money. Um, we're talking, it, it was less than uh, 60,000 maybe, and now it will go back uh, to uh, $80,000. Uh, $80,000, that's significant. And then we talk about uh, other events that are happening. Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, Edric says, uh, um, what's his name? Um, uh, Leroy Burrell. Leroy Burrell set the record at Randall's Island, but uh, we're not talking about that. We're talking about somebody who set the re world uh, record long time afterwards. Sandy Sands is... Uh, watching and listening, the one and only Sandy Sands. I told you that he uh, had been involved in track and field for a long time ago. So we go on and um, we talk about the infrastructure um, that we would have uh, in the Bahamas. Um, and then we talk about the um, uh, where we... Um, go around the, uh, the country. I'm trying to remember what we call it, but Martin Lundy is one who is involved and a number of other people who are involved. And we have not had the event uh, for uh, a long time. Um, and we have uh, swimmers uh, who are going around the world uh, and we have a number of other people from the Bahamas going around the world. So uh, the Ministry of Youth, Sports, and Culture is going to be putting out an, a, a significant amount of, of uh, money to see this happen. And I'm not talking 
about Carifta next year. I am just talking about all that we see. And uh, those of you who have the opportunity to go to Eugene, Oregon, man, that is going to be unbelievable. Uh, we have some athletes, my brothers and sisters, who I think will do very well, much better than we've ever done in the World Championships before. Uh, the best that we've done in the World Championships was in um, Edmonton, Canada, and we had the, the best uh, uh, medal, uh, um, not hold, I mean, that we got uh, uh, before other than anything else around the world. Um, so it is my humble thought that we will do well in Eugene, Oregon, you see a number of our people do extremely well, even when we talk about the uh, hurdles. Uh, we talk about the high jump, the long jump, the triple jump. Uh, we talk about the sprinters, of course, and our sprinters are on the way because we've had a number of people who are able to do 10.1 seconds. And uh, they're on the way to the record that was done uh, many years ago in Osaka. And that young man um, placed second in the 100 meters. So Gohi um, has been teaching now. Going from there, you could see the talent that we have. I said we're talking about uh, jumpers. We're talking about some throwers and all of that. And then we talked about this lady who uh, attended uh, University of Florida. And um, she has done extremely well, extremely well when we talk about, uh, what's the name of the lady? Um, uh, he is at, oh, um, he or uh, she. Oh, oh yeah, his name is, uh, she's in uh, Otaba, Otaba. Uh, she's fourth in the jav javelin and uh, has all American honors. Uh, it is just unbelievable how good uh, they are when you're talking about their NCAAs. So right now, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to take a, a break and uh, we will come back. Shell Unleaded improves your fuel economy, giving increased miles per gallon, allowing you to do more of what you really want. Special additives used in Shell Unleaded improve your engine's efficiency. So, go further with Shell Unleaded. Venture out to beaches, junkanoo, and festivals, and bring home memories that will last a lifetime. Shell, fueling journeys that matter. I am Bernard F. Hanna. All of you should know me as a sting. I've got the very first copy from Vancouver to Athens. You know, I'm so excited because to be the one to have the first copy, I know what it was for Hawk for over the years, his dedication and his excitement, his commitment to bring this bestseller book to us. And uh, I'm excited to have in my possession not only one copy, but two copies from Vancouver to Athens. 50 years of Bahamian international track and the field competition. This is great stuff. So, so I'm urging all of you to get your, your own copy. You could get it from Logos in the Harbor Bay or Nassau Stationers on Rosetta Street or Chapter 1 at COB or at Coral News and Gifts in the domestic section of uh, the Linden Pinland Airport. Let me tell you, man, you will never regret it. This kind of information that you get in this book is really invaluable. It's just terrific stuff. Good sports history, 
true and factual, you know. So I urge you, just go and get it and keep a copy and even give your friends a copy. And you know, more than one reason I am more excited about having this book. Look at page 200 and you will see me there in live and living color performing. Number 200, you will see Bernard F. Hanna performing and uh, that is my fulfillment, one of my big fulfillment of having this book. Ladies and gentlemen, we are back. I need to just mention to you that uh, Juanita DeVoe, our good cousin from Atlanta, DeVoe's, um, she's watching uh, the show. She enjoys watching the show like other people who like uh, rather track and feel or whatever it is, she enjoys it. So um, I want to um, indicate the um, people uh, that uh, the people is brought to you. Track World is brought to you by um, Sun Oil from our walk home, from um, insurance. Uh, I'm talking about ins in, uh, uh, insurance uh, for our walk home. Then we're talking about um, um, my book. We're talking about from Vancouver to Athens, uh, 50 years of Bahamian track and field um, international composition. When we, we were talking about Sunshine Insurance, I walk home and Sunshine Insurance. Um, and then uh, we talk about a young man called Vaughn L. Kilmer. Oh, uh, he is um, an insurance, uh, he has insurance agents. Uh, and it's just unbelievable what he does. Um, and then we have, uh, I let you know that uh, I have been a financial services uh, representative with Kalina uh, for 42 years. Ain't that a long time? Um, but I have been on Guardian Radio for Track World uh, about uh, 10 years or so, uh, 10, 11 to 10, uh, 9, 9. And uh, when the little boy was born, uh, his father called me and said, oh, he's born. And I, I, after I left the show, I went straight to doctor's hospital. That's what it is all about. Um, I say that uh, I have been a uh, uh, financial service representative for all that time. Then my daughter is my, um, uh, my daughter, Alexis. Uh, and, and we know that um, um, Alexis Hanna and Alfie Spindleson, we are the A-team at Kalina, the A-team at Kalina, and we have a love affair with uh, our clientele. That's something else. So that's what we're talking about. And uh, then we start talking about some other things with track and field. Oh, uh, um, anybody um, remember uh, what happened last night? What happened last night? I am talking about basketball, ladies and gentlemen. Wasn't it something else? Those of you who enjoy uh, basketball, you know, they're going to Boston. Uh, from San Francisco, and I will tell you uh, that uh, let me know uh, what you think will happen with the, um, the uh, on, on Thursday, what's going to happen uh, with the 
basketball, I think it is going to be like something else. You have to be there. You know, just about every television in the Bahamas are uh, going to be watching that and again and again and again. And I think you're going to have a great, great time. And then when we go talking about some of our athletes, as I said, um, uh, athletes around the world, um, we talked about the place at uh, Rondo's Island. And my good friend, um, Louis Johnson, he interviewed those people. Uh, that was uh, his show. Uh, and I look forward to seeing him in Eugene, Oregon, when he does the same things to the people who um, presented. And he talked to them as how they feel, what they did, and all that kind of thing. So I am ex really excited about it. Um, and, you know, but before the Bahamas could get to that point, what do they have to do? They need to make the finals. Make the finals. Uh, it ain't what we put down, you know. It is what the world body puts down. You have to do this, that, and the next thing. And if you remember what has happened with the NC2As, these people have done some great performances, but it is what the NC2As say that needs to be done. You just can't walk there. You know, you have to do what you need to do. Uh, so we're looking for the Bahamians doing what they need to do uh, for our nationals coming up. And you'll hear a whole lot about that. I think that we will do extremely well. Uh, extremely well, my brothers and sisters. Uh, if you haven't um, uh, checked track and field before, make sure that you go down to the Thomas A. Robinson Stadium and cheer on our athletes. And you know, the significant thing is, is that a lot of people don't go. They watch it on the radio. Uh, or or they, they, they listen to it on the radio or watch it on television. But it is, it's important for us to be right there and see when it happens. You know what happens when you go around the world and you watch things? Uh, you could remember that you were there. I was there when Usain Bolt did the nine, uh, that, that, that record. And then in the, in the, in the uh, 200 meters also, you would never forget that. Even though Usain Bolt hasn't run for a long time, oh, uh, that memory from Berlin, I mean, you know where Berlin is, uh, you could see that is so exciting. And we should be in Eugene, Oregon, and we should be at the stadium uh, to see what is happening, not for people to tell you uh, what is happening. And uh, I was at the stadium uh, a little earlier, and I saw the people who were getting ready, getting ready to compete. A lot of them are juniors. A lot of them are juniors. But I think that uh, a number of them will do well because there is a, there's a junior championships and the, the big championships with the world uh, championships. And I saw somebody at the stadium who was uh, throwing the discus. Uh, I, the discus or the uh, or the javelin uh, throw, so you know we have to look at that. Uh, we have a number, as I said, a number of uh, people participating, uh, a good people uh, participating. I'm talking about high jumpers. Uh, I am talking, ladies and gentlemen, about triple jumpers, uh, and you know they have been doing well, uh, and we have to stake ourselves uh, in Eugene, Oregon. That's what I'm talking about. Let's see if anybody else is watching. Sandy Snow. Sandy Snow, you hear what I'm talking about? The Bahamas, we are coming. The Bahamas are coming. And uh, anybody who uh, uh, hasn't gotten their ticket yet, make sure that you get your ticket, ladies and gentlemen. Sandy Snow. Thank you ever so much, and we, that's what we are talking about. 
um, uh, in Stuttgart, somebody uh, came up with the uh, what they called um, Bahamian tra Bahamian track and field, uh, small country and great athletes. Everybody thought that I was the person who brought it up, but I didn't bring the person. I was uh, didn't bring the person who did it up because there were a number of uh, federations around the world, not a whole lot now. And he put right under, under uh, uh, where they were naming the, the countries, and it was uh, Bahamian, um, Bahamian uh, small country, Bahamian athletic small country and great athletes. And we have seen that through that time from, um, I call it a long time ago. This fellow was a German fellow. Uh, and or that, was, that was so important. I, we who were there felt so good to be able to be in uh, that place. We also had the IOC there. That's where the IOC had something. So they really uh, uh, recognized that we're a small country and great athletes. That's what I am talking about. Um, and uh, again and again and again. Um, let's uh, think about, uh, oh, uh, I needed to say to um, um, my friend who talked about the, um, the runner, um, uh, and we're talking about Usain Bolt. Usain Bolt is the one who did his first uh, 100 meters, and it was at Randall's Island. Randall's Island. That's what we're talking about. And years ago, Randall's Island was a place, was a place. But now we have a number of other uh, areas in the United States and all over the place that uh, have um, great performances. Uh, it so happens that Iowa... Uh, in Iowa, um, they are central, and uh, a lot of um, uh, United States um, championships are done right there in Iowa. I went to school in Minnesota. My brother went to school uh, in Iowa, and uh, I never ever uh, I never ever went back. I went back to Minnesota, uh, and my brother never ever went back to. Uh, to Iowa, so that's what we're talking about. Let's see who's ch uh, checking in. Um, Michael Sarge Hanna. Michael, are you okay? I heard my brother talking about you uh, over the weekend. Uh, and uh, I think that you're gonna be right um, where you need to be coming up because people were talking about going to Acklands and Crooked Island. Uh, Acklands more than anything else. Um, it's it's going to be near to um, 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 near to independence around that around that time. So we're talking to um, Michael Sarge Hanna, and by the way, uh, Michael Sarge Hanna is uh, a musician, one of the best, a musician, one of the best. And, you know, uh, Bahamians soon just have. Uh, uh, runners, this, we have uh, talented people all through the uh, the Bahamas, culture and all. It is just something else. So as I say, uh, if I switch a little bit, um, can you remember on Sunday evening? Uh, I'm trying to remember um, what it was. Uh, it was a significant thing. Uh, and I'm sure that you watch it. I am sure that you watch it. It is very good. So that's what I am talking about. A very, 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 very good. Uh, the Tony Awards. Oh, the Tony Awards were uh, oh just unbelievable. The Tony Awards. And if you never uh, watch the Tony Awards, uh, put your television on it. Uh, that's number one. Uh, and uh, it is not just uh, in New York, you know. It's all over the place. It's just, 
it is just unbelievable. It is coming back. And, uh, oh, the people were just great. That's what I am talking about. And uh, I believe, uh, I sincerely believe that we will have a, some production that you would want to go to uh, New York City uh, to see some of them. Now, when I go to New York City as much as I can, I go to uh, the Blue Note, uh, and the Blue Note is, um, where, where would I call it? Oh, uh, heavens, I've been to the Blue Note quite a number of times. Um, I'm trying to remember the actual uh, place in that area where the uh, Blue Note is. And it, all kind of music, all kind of music. Uh, and, you know, you don't have to go home at uh, 9, 10 o'clock uh, uh, that evening stay a little a little uh, little more but uh, there is plenty of excitement in um, in New York and places surrounding uh, New York um, and uh, if you go back to um, uh, the world championships in Eugene Oregon oh man uh, uh, I am looking for world records I am looking for world records I don't know if there's any um, uh, world championships or Olympics that never had a, a, um, a world record or a um, Olympic record. That's what we're talking about. And we get excited about that because we see people who can do their best. It's just like basketball last night and basketball that would be uh, on a, on a Thursday evening. It's going to be something else. Oh, there's some people who are going to be jumping up oh, and uh, in between the break, they're going to have their discussions uh, who they feel is going to win this, that, and the next thing. I don't know who is going to be betting, but I'm sure some of the Bahamians are going to be betting against one another and Boy, it is, it is something else. Um, we have to wait a little while for football now. But basketball is something else. And you know that uh, baseball is going on. Uh, baseball is going on. And we'll, uh, <coughs> uh, we are so excited about that young man, Jazz Chisholm. And they had a meeting, you know. They said that the people must be jealous of jazz, and jazz knows how. To. He's a Bahamian. He gets excited. He wears this kind of clothes, and this and that, and the next thing. That is what it is all about. So uh, one of these days, I'm going to go and see uh, jazz. Uh, I think he is going to be in Philadelphia or... Um, one of the other uh, cities around that area. But uh, he is doing well. Uh, and of course, the other um, baseball players uh, that we have from the Bahamas uh, in the United States, I know one or two of them uh, personally. But with regards to Josh Chisholm, I have to tell you this. His grandmother worked with me at Kalina. And when she decided that she would retire, she took her bird, uh, bundle and took jazz all over the place. He went to the area of where I'm going to be going. Uh, I'm, you know, I'm going in Eugene, Oregon, and I also have uh, some family who took some time to Eugene, Oregon, and it takes a little while. Uh, and you know, we are going to be. Great. Um, as I remember, um, there is a, um, uh, we were in here um, about more than a month ago, and uh, somebody was organizing an event um, for boxes, boxes. Um, they sent it to me. Uh, I haven't had the opportunity of reading it, but it's going to be a big event all the best uh, uh, boxes in the uh, Bahamas. 
And uh, the person who was talking was Pat, Patrick. Uh, oh, I'm trying to remember his. He's right in the valley, you know. Uh, right in the valley. And the next one was the president of the Olympic uh, Committee, uh, who uh, is out of uh, North Andrus. Um, so it's going to be a real big event, an unbelievable uh, big event that we're talking about. Um, Leroy uh, Burrell, um, Edric, I need to mention to him that uh, he is a different person now. He's still at the University of Houston, but his son, his son passed away. Uh, I don't know the, all of the details of it. Uh, whenever my uh, friend Louis Johnson talked about it, uh, he just, just about pains him, but he does mention it because people need uh, to, to understand and wrap around somebody like Leroy Burrell. And that is something else. As a matter of fact, one, uh, his son uh, was in the 400-meter uh, relay uh, at one of the events that we've had around the, around the world. And um, when I went to Houston to do the show from Houston, I had the opportunity of meeting Leroy Burrell. But of course, he had something uh, work to do also. Uh, so uh, he was there, and we talked a bit, and then that was it. But uh, it is my belief that um, we will do well in the uh, World Championships. So. Uh, while I am here, let me say this. I, um, the numbers to call are 323-6232, uh, 325-4316, And could you tell me, uh, um, give me three athletes that you think could win a, um, a medal in Eugene, Oregon. Because we will have some. I am Bernard F. Hanna. All of you should know me as a sting. I've got the very first copy from Vancouver to Athens. You know, I'm so excited because to be the one to have the first copy. I know what it was for Hawk for over the years, his dedication and his excitement, his commitment to bring this bestseller book to us. And uh, I'm excited to have in my possession not only one copy, but two copies from Vancouver to Athens. 50 years of Bahamian international track and the field competition. This is great stuff. So, so I'm urging all of you to get your, your own copy. You could get it from Logos in the Harbor Bay or Nassau Stationers on Rosetta Street or Chapter 1 at COB or at Coral News and Gifts in the domestic section of uh, the Linden Pinland Airport. Let me tell you, man, you will never regret it. This kind of information that you get in this book is really invaluable. It's just terrific stuff. Good sports history, true and factual, you know. So I urge you, just go and get it and keep a copy and even give your friends a copy. And you know, more than one reason I am more excited about having this book. Look at page 200. And you will see me there in live and living color performing. Number 200, you will see Bernard F. Hanna performing. And uh, that is my fulfillment, one of my big fulfillment of having this book. Shell Unleaded improves your fuel economy, giving increased miles per gallon, allowing you to do more of what you really want. Special additives used in Shell Unleaded improve your engine's efficiency. So, go further with Shell Unleaded. Venture out to beaches, junkanoo, and festivals, and bring home memories that will last a lifetime. Shell, fueling journeys that matter.
Well, uh, we are back, and I have my co-host, Philip Arnett, right here. Um, I, um, Philip, um, let's talk about uh, the thing that you've heard in the last uh, uh, couple of days with regards to track and field. Well, good afternoon, everyone. Good evening, everyone. Happy to be here again, Alpheus. Um, well, track and field, of course, we know had a very, very exciting weekend for the NCAA mm -hmm. and, of course, even so, the Diamond League. So both events um, uh, resulted in phenomenal um, times and throws, jumps, everything. Uh, it, I, it, I miss the jumps for whatever reason. You know, you know they always say that, they always say, that uh, you don't see the jumps. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm, you see mm -hmm. the people running. Well, you, you, of course, you know, with, with Diamond League, because the yes, events yes. are so, of um, course. they're staggered, and they're not as, it's not yeah, as wide yeah, yeah. As, as the bigger events. So the, the highlights from mm -hmm. most of those events, they actually show. So, of course, it was the Roja, um, you know, the triple jumper. And you know, there's just certain things that they took highlights of and that stood out. Yeah. And... For me, it's the excitement right now is culminating towards all of the country's nationals. Yes. Because as we head to world championships, this is going to be the thoroughbred of, of course. the best right now. Course, and yeah. th <laughs> that's what my excitement is, too, and, right and, now. And, and, and in Eugene, Oregon, before <laughs> the championship, mm -hmm. it's going to be just like the Olympics. Of course. Uh, people who don't make it, people who uh, do things that people don't think they could do. Mm -hmm. I am looking at the, the triple jumper. I always see him. You know, he, he has not jumped for a long time. The world record holder, and he is from, uh, his people are from, Bar from Barbados. Okay, okay. Yes, yes. Very good. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I think this is going to be a very exciting, a very exciting world championships. Um, it's crazy to say that it started even with the juniors, the collegiate athletes, just in yes. NCs this weekend. Those times from the collegiate athletes, um, <laughs> I mean, from the sprints all of the way course. up to the distance, uh, on the field, off the field, everything was, I mean, just exceptional times and performances. I, I, I spoke to a couple coaches who were there from different colleges, and everyone was like, Philippa, if you're not stepping up here, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this ain't the place to be. Yeah. These athletes are not running like co college athletes. They're not performing like college athletes. Like they're ready to go to their country's championships and come back here to Eugene. I want to talk about Noah Elias. Oh, my God. Oh, 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 he is something, he is something else. Mm -hmm. I mean, he, he goes and gives this person this and the next thing. And he said it's going to be much better. <laughs> yeah, the, I mean, the, uh, even the sprinter, the <clears throat> sprinter from, from um, Florida. Florida, yeah. It's, it's, I mean, what else can you going to bring? What mm -hmm. else can you bring? Because, you know, the funny thing is about sometimes with collegiate athletes, and I think we saw this at the Olympic trials, particularly for the U.S., Yes. Um, a lot of these collegiate athletes, I think Mu wasn't, I mean, she, she put herself apart from a lot of others, uh -huh. but a lot of the collegiate athletes stood out at the actual NCs, but when they stepped into the trials for the U.S., it wasn't as outstanding as yes. they did at NCs. So it's more like the college coaches perform them, I mean, prepare them for NCs, um, and what happens after that is you just carry, yeah. you know. There are, uh, I need to mention somebody who has been watching. Mm -hmm. uh, her name is Sandy, remember? Sandy, Snow USA Track and Of Field. course. Hi, yes. Sandy. Sandy Snow. Sandy yes, Snow. yes, of course. Yeah. She and was one of my mentors when I started in the Women's Commission. Oh, okay. oh, yes. Excellent. Beautiful person. And then guess who? We're talking about uh, Coach Maycock. Okay, he's, well, he's watching. always, always, yeah, he's, he's always, watching. yeah. Hey, that's our premier coach right now. Yes. yes premier, yes. I mean, eh? Performing outstanding junior records, national mm -hmm. records, world standard records. World standard. You know, in, in junior athletes. Tell, tell so, me about um, uh, any of the other athletes in the NC2A, as you know. Well, that, Abby Steiner, I mean, yeah. I, I'm sorry, Alphys, I can't yeah, go yeah, no yeah, place yeah, else. Yeah. Abby Steiner. And where is she from? What's. 
She, I mean, she's out of, she, she performs for Kentucky, University Kentucky, of Kentucky. Yeah, Kentucky. Um, and, you know, Debbie, of course, we have two coaches there, yeah. Bahamian, you know, um, resident, oh, what resident, but, but, but soon born. As soon as he came home, mm-hmm. he told me what, what they did and what they didn't mm-hmm, do, you know, mm-hmm. but it is something else. Well, the, the good thing is I had an opportunity to watch her, um, Matthew Bowling, all of them as athletes oh, man. Oh, at man. the NACAC, NACAC, at the Pan Am, exactly, yeah. Pan Am, when it was in Costa Rica. Yeah. And to see the growth in these athletes over three years, two, three years, it's, she is phenomenal. And to think that she was injured last year, what she could have brought last year, you know, it's there. But it, it's excitement for me, Alpheus. I mean, and I, I can tell you, I think even some of our collegiate athletes who are going to be, who are going to be coming home for, our local trials. But you know what this I do. This is going to people? be very exciting. You need to come. Yeah, Nobody they have to come. Nobody need to tell you what happened. Yeah, they have to come. You need to come and have excitement. Yep. If yep. if there's nobody in the stadium, ain't <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> nothing happening. Well, I think I think the B three A's is trying to garner that. <coughs> excuse me, garner that excitement, particularly for this upcoming. You know, for the weekend, yeah. and that's the twenty fourth, the twenty fifth, and the twenty sixth. The twenty fourth and the twenty fifth. We get the results. Well, agreed. And yeah. the twenty sixth is the relay carnival, yeah. where they're trying to actually have like a Bahamian, yeah. um, Bahamas Games type of style, World Athletics type of style of relays, mm-hmm. and inviting all the clubs and organizations and civic organizations, the police, the defense force, all of these organizations. They're inviting them to come. Um, and we hope that a lot of them actually bite and, and come and have some fun on that Sunday mm-hmm. because it, it's excitement, you know, and to have that feeling. That's what it's all about. To it, have it, that it, feeling. It, if it, you haven't got your invitation, it's coming. But definitely we're inviting all civic organizations, all um, government organ customs, immigration, prison, um, everybody, everybody. You come, you bring a team, and we're ready. So do you follow basketball? Oh, I, I went to watch the game last night, but I'm none of those teams. But um, uh, okay. my mom was a Celtics, and God bless her soul. Sure. So I'm pulling for the Celtics. So it was. But it was so great, and it will be great. But this I'm is trying an to compare exciting. that to what is happening. In what track will be and happening field? in track and field? Oh, I mean, I think. <laughs> and especially in the Bahamas. Yes, it's a very competitive. Excitement. This championship is a very competitive um, championship. I think both teams are pretty much um, sort of squared up. Mm -hmm. And I think that's a lot of excitement. As you say, carry it over into track and field. I think that's what we're going to see. For me, as an announcer, I am so excited to be ready for this championship because of the amount of collegiate, outstanding Bahamian athletes that we have. And I'm hoping that they are all registered to be here. Because the All Americans, the I mean, the performances. Honestly, when you look at the widespread of countries that participate collegially over the NCs mm-hmm, mm-hmm. throughout the NCs, I think we stood out. We we stood sure. out even at that level. Yes, yes, yes. yes so yes. we're inviting, of course, the B threes is inviting all of um, everybody to c- come on board, come out and support our athletes, and the you know fill the fill the stadium. Fill the stadium just for fun. Well, I want to just switch to one thing. Um, I have a birthday of a cousin of mine in um, Atlanta. Uh, Well, she's around the same same age as I am. Okay. We're talking about 55. Hmm. (laughs) 55, obviously. 55. And then... um, um, somebody who lives near to me just had a birthday the other day, and I'm really mm-hmm. sure you know the person because the person is um, uh, what's the name? San- Sandy Sands. Uh, Sandy Sands. Uh, uh, Daughter-in-law. Assistant. Okay. Secretary. Sandy Sands. Secretary, and they live right around the corner from us. Okay. Uh, and then we are talking about. Uh, I'm forgetting the date of birth now. Well, I'm going to say happy much. birthday to my brother because his birthday is today. So happy birthday, Rosie. <laughs> oh, excellent, excellent. <laughs> Going forward now, uh, there has been um, uh, people who passed. So, you know, Cindy, mm-hmm. the one and only Cindy. Talk about Cindy. 
Well, she was my line sister yes. she, um, as a part of the organization of Delta Sigma Theta mm -hmm. Incorporated. Um, of course, she was a big loss, and she is a big oh, yes. loss, oh, too. Yes. I understand, you know, um, particularly, I must say, from our line, she's been one of the most active, mm -hmm. um, continuous uh, members of Delta of course, Sigma Theta. Of course. And uh, she also served in a lot of... Um, uh, pan held positions, yes. primary sc school student of the year, yeah, yeah. Um, active, I think, mm. to her death in yeah, the actual yeah. National oh, Bahamas Alumni better. chapter as well. So, um, to a lot, I, I I know being very close with Miss Dormius at the Red Cross. I know she was also oh, yes. very active with the Red Cross, and I think it's the Red Cross ball. Red Cross ball. Okay, of right. Course, so, yeah. right. So, um, yeah, she's. Just looking at the comments on Facebook, mm -hmm. um, for the most part, and, and seeing people's regards, you know that she made a contribution. And um, sure, it was sudden. I know when uh, Madam President called me to give me the news, mm. it, was it was shocking because she had, I think, just written in the group uh, a few days before or something like that. Um, so we had no idea that it was anything to that demise. Yes, yes, yes. Right. So definitely... <laughs> It was a sudden shock. But I want to mention. And may she rest in I peace. I want to mention two things. Uh, number one, um, you may be, um, you may know that uh, Chanel's uh, brother passed. Yes, yes. and I, 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 I uh, sent my regards. Yeah, I sent my regards to both Chanel and to Danny. Um, yeah, I think that was that's another shock as well. I was at First Caribbean. Mm -hmm. I see him there every now and then, yeah, it's... and all dressed up with his, you know. Mm -hmm. You know, he always, I, I, always, I, always dressed up. <laughs> and and then I said, when I found out, out I said, mm -hmm. I had just we just talked with one another. Seen him, it, yep. That's how that's how things happen. Yep, just yep. talk with one another. Mm -hmm. It's well, unbelievable. I also want to give my regards to Miss um, Hasty. I think that's Patrick Bailey's uh, sister. Okay, who would have just. I mean, you know, he he would have passed AC. late of late of last year. Okay, but they eulogized his remains this okay, weekend past. Course, yeah, because you know we saw it, it in the paper, it took, and I mentioned yeah. it to Coach Hodge. But, it took um, a while, of yeah. course. So to the family, we definitely want to give our regards yeah. and say, you know. So I want to say that uh, um, Chanel's brother is going to be at uh, downtown mm -hmm. Methodist, where the um, Central Bank is. St Andrews. That's St. Andrews, No, not St. Andrews. Uh -huh. St. Andrews. Oh, yeah. the Methodist Church the across Methodist the street. Church across Ar the street. Right, yeah, okay, Methodist. okay. Yeah. It's a seven-day, I think that's the S Salvation no, it's, Army. No, it's, no, it's, it's the, it, they are, what do you call it, man? Um, uh, they are, right as you, the Central Bank, as you come out of the Central Bank, you go right there. Mm -hmm. That's where it is. You're talking, okay, is it through the corner where the old City Bank was? No, not City not, Bank. Not heading to Frederick Street. No, no. well, City Bank then, City Bank. Yeah. But what, what I'm saying is that where you are at the, uh, you go to where... Um, Fidelity Bank. Where the, where the, the, uh, the not the bartender, who cuts hairs. Cliffy. Oh, Cliffy. Cliffy, right uh -huh. there. You come from there, uh -huh. and then the place is the Methodist Church. They're Methodists. Mm -hmm. That's where it's going to be. That's okay. where it's going to be. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and I have an opportunity on on Saturday to see. I've been to a number of funerals, but I have mm -hmm. uh, had an opportunity to see Eugene Nuri. Okay. Uh, Nuri is the one who... Dr. Dealt, Nuri, of course. Doctor, yep. He dealt with our son, mm -hmm. who got knocked down and was in a coma for... Um, uh, Eight months, and yeah. I had an opportunity when he was uh, in uh, Washington, mm -hmm. uh, as the you know what uh, what um, Jones has the uh, position now, okay. and I had the opportunity to speak with him about how he was so significant with our son. Yes. And there's nothing better than giving flowers while you're alive. Eh? Yes, 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 so, yes. Of course. So, any other thoughts that uh, you? think? Oh. We're talking about there are a number of other uh, sports people going around the world, you know. Oh, yeah. Not definitely. just track and field. One of it is uh, the swimming, eh? Yeah. Well, well, the, the, the minister talked about all the oh, places. Oh, the deep sea. The deep sea. I think yeah. that's deep sea swimming. Yeah, that's, yeah. yeah right. That's, um, I think, Georgette. 
Albury yeah. is heading as the manager. I, I could be wrong, I know, but I know, I know she shared know it. Her, yeah, right, her, she yeah. shared it, so I thought that she was if she isn't. Yeah. But, yeah, I saw that. That that's, But four athletes, four athletes, yeah, Bastien, yeah. one of them being the Bastien, Bastien yeah, yeah, right, yeah. Um, heading off. Mm -hmm. Yes, so, mm -hmm. of course, yes, we wish them all the best. Yeah. Yeah, and then I heard you earlier talking about the Jazz um, Chisholm Day. Oh, yes, yes. Unfortunately, that's the same day as uh, the trials, but... You, you can only be uh, only, one yeah, place at a time. Yeah, maybe one place at a time, right, exactly, huh. one place at a time. But, yeah, of course, so, you know, a very busy season. This is almost the end of June, and we're moving in now to, I mean, real track season because the months of July and August... Are um, always the heavy. And then the world under 20 in mm -hmm. Colombia. Yep. Mm -hmm. Got the world under 20. Then you got uh, the world champs, of course. This is July 15th to the 24th. These days and when you the think NACAC about it. Event. Well, that's, hey, now that it's finally released, of course, it's going to be in Grand Bahama. So that is going to be a very, a very, very big event. Um, I mean, I haven't seen any details. Um, of exactly what's happening and how it's working out or whatsoever, but we've got the release well, to know that me, that's going to happen. Me, let me say this. I can't be there. I have something of a, a, an event in Nassau that I have to be there. Well, you're going to miss a great event. Yeah, I'm going to miss it. That's okay. That's, that's right. okay. That's it's right. more important. It is more important than NACA. Mm -hmm. okay. Well, I encourage your listeners to come out to June 24th, 25th, and 26th at the Thomas A. Robinson National Stadium for the Bahamas Track and Field Nationals. So come on out and have a great weekend with us. Kermit Ramming, Kermit Ramming, Kermit Ramming. Thank you ever so much, my producer, and we'll see you soon. Have a good evening. Thank you.